Hello and welcome back to the Marvelous Martells. So, we, um, we're not doing so great in this war. We do have a new ally. We have Shireen, which is definitely cool. Um, she's now actually got troops who so can help us. The negative is we're now against the Iron Throne, which is 19, 20,000. Uh, we have 20,000 in the reach, and we have the Veil against us, which, you know, another 11,000, just for good measure. That means we're against 50,000. Our strength is around 30, well, our strength is around 10, maximum 17. Uh, the Stormland strength is nothing. It's like 4,000. So it's basically 21,000 versus uh, 50,000. So not ideal for us to win, like those circumstances, but we'll see what we can do. Oh. My prince, we have word from the Night's Watch that the White Walkers beyond the wall have been defeated. Oh. I made them more difficult, though, and they've been defeated without me even noticing. Oh, okay. Lord Commander Jor Mormont was the leader in his War for the Dawn, and after a struggle which left thousands dead, he and his allies prevailed. Um. Good. Good job, Jor. Uh, he is incapable now, and injured, but I mean. I guess, good job. Um, I guess making them harder didn't make it so the AI couldn't just destroy them still, but okay. Uh, that's fine. Do we want to join in here? Uh, with this army? Maybe in a second. Oh, morale of armies just went up. That's nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's time to move. Uh, invite to plot. You would like me to replace this person and you'd like me to plot to do it. I'm going to decline that for just now and just pretend I saw nothing. Oberyn has had another child called Manfrey. Okay, Oberyn. That's, you know, whatever you do in your spare time doesn't bother me. Uh, so 17,000 there. If we can convince this army to join with us, we can beat those 17,000. I'm just going to go along the coast so we don't take any attrition. Uh, okay. There's actually some leaving, which is good. My ward, uh, Marcella, has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear she will get hurt someday. You know what? We'll, we'll encourage her kindness. That seems like a good thing to do. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. So there's 800 walking over to Haystack Hall. There's 3,000 walking over to Bywater. Those 3,000 in Bywater, are they going to attack the 4,000 that are sitting here? Potentially. I'm thinking our best move is we move in here. Now, are we going to... We have supply limit here, so I'm going to move in. Are we still reinforcing? 12 a month. Not really large numbers. 6,000 are leaving. So depending on where those 6,000 go can make us do different things. Um, I'm going to placate that person with uh, flattery so that he's not mad that his troops are raised. Okay, where are you going here? Everyone's now going to Haystack Hall. Okay. That's fine. Now we have 17,000, and they're all heading out, probably to attack these 5,000, right? Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that Rhaegal has escaped uh, Captain Dario Naharis of the Stormcrows and has built a lair on Volantis. Oh, also Dario, uh, Dario Naharis has been killed by Rhaegal after marrying uh, Daenerys. So that's Daenerys, uh, husband number two, dead. Okay. Um... So they're in their hole heading to Wendwater. Okay. They're going to head out there. Now I imagine the next place they're going to head is here. We have a grandson. I'm not letting him be called Archibald. He's called uh, Daemon. Yeah, that seems better. Right. Uh, Ten days till they move? Let's have a look here. We'll wait for that. 21, 22. So they are moving directly in. So when they lock, we're going to move. And we're going to back them up. I'm just waiting for the lock symbol to appear. Uh, my prince. Somebody was fighting somebody. And... Uh, oh, he was demanding trial by combat from his... Maester Helmin Tolhart demanded trial by combat from his captor, King Rob Stark. And proved his innocence by slaying his opponent, King Rob Stark. Rob, I'm very disappointed in how you did. Uh, his son, Doran, is now taking over the north. That That's just pathetic, really. Is anyone locked in yet? No. Okay. It must be locked now, right? Maybe one more day? Now they're locked. Right, now we can join in. We're going to arrive on the 6th. We might arrive too late here, but we are going to join. And that's the important thing. 
We're going to arrive on the 6th, so that's five more days. One, two, three, four, five. We don't arrive in the best of circumstances, but we have arrived so that we've changed the balance of the troops. Now, our morale is low, but our troop numbers are high, and that's kind of what we're going for here. Let's have a look. So yeah, we might win the left flank. If we do, that's a very good situation for us. We did win the left. Unfortunately, we lost the right and center, which definitely is not how I would like things to have gone. So we actually just lost that battle intensely. Okay, so every battle we've joined so far has not been good. Uh, my prince, for some time now, been observing the poor performance of Justicier um, Lady Delone, whose failures have become a burden on the entire realm. My supporters and I ask that you remove her from office at once and appoint me to the council in her stead. <sighs> sure. You know what? Sure. You can be my new person. You can be the new person in charge. Uh, your job is going to be to improve relations with. I guess the Stormlands. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we're in a bad spot right now. Again, in this war. I've noticed that young Marcella seems to carry a lot of anger around. We'll try and make her temperate. We'll try and we'll try and temper that anger slightly. Okay. So definitely not a good spot to be in. Yeah, now they now they have ticking war score from controlling the Iron Throne. That looks like Shireen is about to lose some more troops over here. We'll try and join in and help. We actually didn't lose that many troops from the battle ourselves. Which is good. Um, I'd very much like to get them to move over here. Ah, there's the other army. I knew there was another army somewhere and that's definitely causing us issues. That is Ramsay Bolton's army, by the way, down here. Just in case you were wondering. New uh, knight commander is Dennis Malister. Okay, interesting. So he's replaced Dior, who defeated the White Walkers, which, you know, pretty much, you know, the best thing he could have done. Uh, we can attack in here, but they'll get the hills bonus, so we'll instantly lose. I'm now going to attack in the 4,000, though. Uh, Sun Spirit is flourishing. Nice to hear. We are going to catch somebody here, so hopefully that works. Yeah, so this might be our first one battle, which is lovely for us. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to win the uh, left flank very quickly. And then the rest are going to be about even, but that's okay. That's all one battle. That's something we haven't done yet. Uh, Tallert of South Shield is dead now. We're about to be attacked by someone? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Um, I'm okay. Yeah, I'll take this attack. This is a great situation for us. Apart from the 14,000 that are looking to join, but... No, apart from that, it's a great situation for us. Apart from being absolutely and utterly destroyed. We're actually not even going to beat the 6,000. So the 14,000 who are about to join, are, it's going to be very depressing. When they eventually join. Uh, the plot is revealed. Yeah, so you see, we're about even with 6,000. 14,000, uh, that's not going to look good. In fact, we're, we're about to lose to the 6,000. Uh, I guess the Dornish troops aren't quite as good as the Iron Throne troops, would be my initial assumption. Uh, yeah, another 14,000 about to join. Nope, they didn't even get to join because we lost the battle qu so quickly. Okay, well, I guess that's good in a way because we could have lost more troops in the pursuit phase, I guess. In a way, it's a good thing. Uh, Marcela uh, has now got an education as a gruff diplomat. Does she like us? Yeah, yeah, she's okay. We're her mentor. That's what I like to see. Uh, you need an education. Let's give you a martial education. This war has gotten out of hand. I probably could have given her an intrigue one. We're now known as the Cunning. What well, part of this plan was Cunning? This plan is awful. Okay, so we've got to retreat basically to Will and just reinforce. Yeah, we're about to lose the war. 100%. The war is about to be over. How did uh, Aegon's war go? Um, oh, it's actually Daenerys just declared a war for the Iron Throne. Never mind, never mind. It's now Daenerys' turn. Isn't that weird? Uh, we now need a Master of Ships for Dorne. Um, how do I... Is oh, it's in here, right? Yeah, High Admiral. The High Admiral for Dorne is going to be... Uh, I don't know. Uh, his name is Edric of the Sandship, so that's a good one. But Oberyn also could be... Isn't on my council and could be. You know what, Oberyn? You're now Master of Ships. Enjoy. Um, right. 
So, we are just, yeah, yeah. So we just lost that one. Definitely not good. We've lost the war. Our armies have been obliterated. Our castle sacked. Now I stand before King Joffrey to hear his judgment. Let us hope he is merciful. Uh, your acquaintance, Lady Paramount Shireen Baratheon, has been imprisoned in King's Landing by King Joffrey Lannister of the Iron Throne. Okay. Um, definitely not feeling super secure about how things are right now, but has anybody joined Daenerys' war? 24,000 against, um, yeah, against Joffrey. And it's just Joffrey right now, not the Reach, not anyone else, just Joffrey. Okay. Doran Martell. The king has decreed that you shall be incarcerated in the dungeon as punishment for your treason and will not be released until he sees fit. This is the judgment of Joffrey of House of the House Lannister, the first of his name, King of the Iron Throne and Lord of King's Landing, Protector of the Realm. Um, I'm going to apparently abdicate and attempt to flee from my execution. That sounds like a plan. And now we're a new character. We are Ariane of Dorn. Okay, our heir is our father, Sir Doran the Cunning. Yeah, again, not much cunning there. We need to be crowned, apparently. Uh, which we will do in a second. We also need an entirely new council. Our justiciar, uh, that's going to be... Uh, Tyene Sand. Our treasurer is going to be... Alsea Sand. Our, our Lady Bright, never mind. Uh, Spymaster is going to be our Uncle Oberyn. Maester is going to be Miles. And our Septim is going to be Armin. Okay, so, perform charity down here. Actually, I don't want Oberyn to be my spy master. Once again, I want Nymeria to be my spy master so Oberyn can lead armies. Collect taxes down here. Disband... Well, we'll wait a second and disband those troops. Uh, yes. The Iron Throne is in an ongoing state of war. Joffrey Lannister is in conflict with Daenerys Targaryen and expects us to provide men for his armies. What shall we do? The rebels' cause is just. We have now joined Daenerys. Now remember, what I said about Dorne in the first episode is that everybody else in this family, they're about revenge, Dorne was not. We are now about revenge. That's where we're at. Uh, we have Master Seductress as one of our things. We could take seduction. Yeah, sure, we'll take seduction. Not sure what we're going to do with it just now, but we've taken seduction. Right, Master of Ships. You know what, Oberyn? You can be my Master of Ships. Carry on. Right, we should get married. Um, Anybody good? Doran of the North, it reckons? Uh, yeah, no, it has to be matrilineal. That's the bit I missed there. That's why everything's a bit weird. Yeah, matrilineally, our options are a lot less. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that might be the case. Anybody of rank? No. Okay, let's see who we got. Anybody I noticed? We got a, a Greyjoy. Potentially, we could marry the Greyjoys. Not sure if that's necessarily going to be our best plan I've ever had. Anyone else? A Frey? A, a what? A Kaya... Kayakian. A Kaya Kayakian? What? That's far too many syllables in one name. Never mind, I take it back. We have the Namor Guliarian. Which is even more ridiculous. In fact, that's not even his name. That's just his, um, that's his culture. Kayakiakian. Um, okay. Out of these options, I'm thinking the Greyjoy? Son of King Urin? Their best option? Um, I guess? Yeah? It's not exactly what I would have gone for. Had I had all my choices, but that's what we're going to go for. And he's got the blood of Vicon Greyjoy. Okay. Uh, that's what we're going for then, I guess. Um, so, I want to get our armies re-raised. We need to wait just a little bit for that to happen. We also need to set a crown focus over here. Okay. Um, now, do I wait for our armies to reinforce slightly? I think I do, yeah. Has anybody joined this war? The Reach are defending against Daenerys. Okay. So people have joined, and unfortunately it looks like the Reach have joined again on the side that we do not want them to. 
So that's 16... That's 40,000. So we need the Vale or the North to join us. Um, the North probably isn't going to join. They're kind of busy. Uh, our father was executed by King Joffrey. You see, revenge is definitely becoming more of our thing here. Bastain now exists. Okay. Or, or is now our heir. Uh, and that means that... Yeah, we have Tristane, Damon, and then who? Oberyn, probably? Yeah. Okay, and then all of Oberyn's children. That's fine. Um, I'm going to wait another month and then we're going to get our troops done. Okay. The marriage is done. You want an alliance, Urin? Okay, it's not the best alliance I've ever had. We could also get an alliance with the North as well, potentially. No, he has no interest in alliance. Okay. Yeah, we've got an alliance. Uh, now, I assume there's no way of dragging him into this war. No. Invite to plot? No. Definitely a no there. Host a wedding? Um, a wedding seems like it would cost a lot of money. <laughs> uh, do we want a wedding? Probably not. No, this, this isn't that kind of thing. We are going to... Well, we can't be crowned either because we're not at peace. Okay, um... You know, let's just seduce our husband while we're working on things, and then uh, wait. Let our armies reinforce slightly. Okay. Today I was approached by my mother, Melario. Apparently, she's worried that I'm willingly starving myself to death with my current diet. There is nothing wrong for a woman to have some curves. She assures me. Uh, shut up. That's none of your business. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of busy. Um. About to lose another war, kind of busy, but we'll see. Oh, that's a good, that's a good win. I did forget something very important. Daenerys has dragons. That's where the numbers are going to change a little bit here. All right, yeah. So as long as she's brought her dragons across, she's good. I made sure to attend a minor event in Sunspear in the hopes of seducing Prince Quaylen, but my, um, despite my best attempts, he remains unimpressed. Okay. So Daenerys, um. Don't mean to be rude, but where are your dragons and where are you? You're over here. Do you actually have boats, Daenerys? That, that's going to be a big issue if they didn't give you boats. Because otherwise, you, you're not really going to... I don't have boats either, so I can't help you in this. In fact, I don't know if they would even get on my boats, but in fact, I'm fairly certain they wouldn't. Uh, let's get our troops raised. Marine got some armies over here, so they must be able to, in some way, um, get... Like, must be in some way able to utilize their troops and get them over, so... Hopefully, they can eventually get over here. Yeah, disband those as well. And disband those. Anything that's about to die will disband. And we'll raise in a second. Right. Okay, merge up. Ooh, that music track had something weird happen to it. I managed to chance upon Quaylen alone in the kitchen when he came down for his usual late snack. We talked and laughed for hours and I can tell the attraction is growing. Hoping I've read him correctly, I lean in to whisper in his ear. Brush my lips against his ear and breathe out softly. Okay. And that worked. Fantastic. He will fall in love with me, and that's the way I want things to be here. Right. Uh, continue merging up. That's not a very large army. Just putting it out there. Is that really our full army? Oh, we have a few more now. Yeah. A few couldn't be ri uh, couldn't uh, rise up because they had troops on top of them. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. So where is Daenerys' army? That's an important question for us to ask ourselves here. Um, yeah, make the faith like me more. So there's Daenerys' army. Okay. And it's over here. So I want to get over there. So I'm going to head up to Will. Uh, we're not leading, which is fine. Right. Head up this way. Uh, who died? Our treasurer died. New treasurer is going to be Morgan. He really likes me. He's also going to try and get me money over here. If he can. Right, uh, also in improving relations, I'm feeling like an improving relations with um, Daenerys seems like a good situation right now. Although she probably likes me quite a lot for joining her war. Um, okay, so we've had some bad experiences in these battles. Let's see what we can do to fix it. So if Edric on a side potentially could be good. And then... Uh, Harmon, I guess, is okay. He does have inspiring leader. Which is pretty good. There's a double negative there in black. Haven. Yeah. 
Hmm. I guess we're just going to chill here and reinforce. Because we can reinforce a little bit. We are only reinforcing seven a month, but we are reinforcing. 6,000? I'll take 6,000 with the negatives. Assuming this isn't a bait, but the AI has baited me, then, you know. That's just the way things are going to be here, pretty much. I think, yeah, they didn't even have full morale. They have no leaders. That's a good battle for us. Okay. So we're moving in. Stormlands uh, are now under Stafford Lannister, but are no longer in this war. Okay. So that now means that Lannister's here, or Joffrey has 25,000. Mace has 20,000, but the dragons are up here, and that's where we need to be. Well, the dragons may not be up here, because actually Daenerys is leading troops on this one, so it hasn't actually got on the boats yet. Once Daenerys gets on the boats, I'm feeling a lot more confident about... Oh, she's actually only sending 85 troops up here? That's a very interesting decision, Daenerys. Oh, she switched... Who's... Okay, yeah. She still doesn't have enough to fit on the boats, so I'm going to wait in Blackhaven. Actually, I might wait in Will for her. Yeah, and reinforce. That seems like a good idea. Maybe I'll go and clear up Dorne. I really want to join her once her troops get over here, but they're not over here yet. Arrange marriage between Stafford Lannister and Doria Sand. That's a, that's a definite no there. Okay. I'm starting to think Garen might uh, fancy me. Yeah, sure. I'll make a move. Why not? Good to be the princess. Right. Uh... Still reinforcing. Uh, we have an open position for a Castellan. Um, I guess Sorella. Wait, yeah, okay, that's stewardship. It's based on. Uh, yeah, Sorella can't be my husband because there are negatives to having your husband on the council. Uh, you've made this person like me more. Not the person I asked you to make like me more, but that's fine. Uh, and do nothing for just now. Okay, right over here. A most impressive woman has recently arrived at your court. Um, apparently, the reason for a visit was to arrange a trade agreement with the local merchants. While people did not think much for her at first, um, you have now heard many courtiers praising her, sav her savvy business sense. Perhaps you should make her an offer. Uh, yeah, sure, be my treasurer. Actually, I'm all for that. And now you can collect me money. Which is going to be very important when we end up having to buy mercenaries. Okay, um, Daenerys, I don't want to tell you how things are done, but if you could just move your troops over here and get them on the boat. Oh, okay. Right. She has troops. They're going on boats and she's leading. That's what I'm looking for. My prince, I'm deep. Uh, my princess? My, yeah, my princess? Really? Come on, at least send me the right stuff. I'm deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your loyal subjects are running dry from the upkeep of your troops. But, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll shift laws around. Um, so she's now on the boats, I think. Yes, the boats are heading over here. That's what I like to see. Okay, so she did actually get on these boats. Let me just check that. She's in, is she in multiple wars? She's in a war against... Oh, no. So she's going to lose this war and therefore lose Marine, therefore lose this other war she's in. Okay, well, you know, Daenerys... I wish you the best of luck. Uh, she's actually switched back to leading these troops, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Not the troops she sent over. Why would she lead the troops that she sent over here? That would just be stupid, you know? Obviously. Anyway, so Armin has been the leal and able servant. Uh, I'm going to pay him 16 gold. Right, I'm going to go join Daenerys' troops and see if she joins us. I, I think we, we've kind of we've given uh, waiting for her to actually come across here enough time. Oh, I'm pregnant. Fantastic. Yeah, it gets an air. I'm actually losing uh, troops at a massive rate as I'm coming through here as well. Smoother skin, shiny eyes, fuller curves. The changes brought by, by this pregnancy have made me even more beautiful than it already was. Oh, fantastic. Great. Sex appeal plus 15. That's good. It's been a long while since Quaylen gave me so much attention. I'm fairly sure his sudden interest in me might be related to my recent changes, but I cannot deny I'm flattered by it nonetheless. Okay. Uh, yes, I really want to join this. Are you actually going to catch them, or are you going to catch me? That's very annoying that sh they're not going to wait here. They're not locked in. <sighs> it's the correct move to continue and hope that they stop. The ruler is personally leading the troops. If they stop, we win the battle. If they don't stop, we lose the battle. Well, let's find out. 
we lose the battle. They decided to not to not stop. Okay. Oh, but the ruler stopped leading the troops as well, so therefore they lost the dragon bonus. <sighs> okay. Well, you know, just the AI doing AI things. It's fine. I kind of knew they weren't going to stop, but I at least thought they might win when they had the ruler leading. But because they switched to his leading the army, they actually lost the dragon bonus. And the dragon bonus is the whole point of having her attack. Anyway, we just inherited a city and got a ton of money. I'm going to join King's Landing here, this little group of people at uh, sieging, and hope that this works. It wasn't until several weeks after the banquet I heard about it and wondered why I was not invited. Aren't Lady Silva and I friends? But, uh, well, not anymore. Yeah, obviously. Don't invite me to the banquet. I'm not friends. Excuse me? I click auto balance and we don't auto balance. Very confused about that one, actually. Yeah, I just like a few troops on each flank. I'm kind of assuming that our allies will be the bulk of our troops here, but we'll see. Oh, they're not even attacking us. Well, that's good. We have a new heir. If we die now, we'll play as Maron Martel. You know what? Uh, name after random ancestor. Yeah, you can be Oberyn. That's fine. Uh, why don't you have a thrift education? Sure. Okay, this war's not going great. Just thought I'd mention that one. Oh, they're running away. Okay, our siege is continuing. This is going to take forever because I turned off the... Um, yeah, because I turned off uh, the ability to assault. So it is going to take a very long time, but hopefully it works. Nameria Sand has been a leal and able servant. Uh, I'll pay her some money. Sure. Right. Continue our siege. Queen Daenerys is leading. Now that is huge. Why is it huge? Well, because dragons have an ability that allows them to just take and just like rain fire from above and just take the, everything. So given that she is still a dragon uh, rider, uh, that's all going well. She is about to lose her war in Marine though. Although th they probably haven't won a major battle, so they might not be able to win the war until they siege it all down. Uh, which Oh, they don't have enough men to siege Marine itself and they haven't won a major battle. Okay, so that's going to stay neutral forever. That, that's what I'm liking. That's what I'm liking to see. So, if Daenerys burns down everything, there's a chance we win. But she switched herself from leading that army to leading a different army, so never mind. Never mind. A raven has arrived from the citadel. Winter is coming. Lovely. Hey, Daenerys, um... Don't, don't want to be rude, but could you do something in this war? Like, at all? I'm kind of annoyed right now at Daenerys, to be honest with you. He's not being the most efficient leader I've ever seen. Right, train troops in our capital. Okay, let's see what's happening here. We're still going. There's disease, there's a bloody flux inside the walls, but we're still going. <sighs> okay. Your acquaintance, Daenerys Targaryen, has been imprisoned by Kaizai Pass, uh, imprisoned in Kaizai Pass by the great master Margaz Zoloric of Marine. All right then. Well, we'll be heading back to Dorne. The war for the Iron Throne has ended. Daenerys Targaryen lost. I now stand before King Joffrey to hear his judgment. <sighs> All right. Well, Ariane Martel. The king has decreed that you shall be incarcerated in the dungeon as punishment for your treason, and will not be released until he sees fit. This is the judgment of Joffrey of House Lannister, the first of his name, King of the Iron Throne and Lord of King's Landing, Protector of the Realm. I must try and flee. I'm going to abdicate to my son, Oberyn. My regent is Oberyn. We have abdicated. Okay, uh, we need a crown focus. That's going to be our capital. And you know what? I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.